Hey everybody. Well, I guess I'm gonna whisper. Um, man, I'm so far behind on um liking comments, responding to comments, um, watching subscription videos. Um, probably like a lot of other people. I keep forgetting to whisper. Um, probably like a lot of other people, I'm, um, I don't know, I've been having a lot of busy stuff going on, like, last day of school for my son, and getting stuff ready for summer, and, you know, now that my son's gonna be home, you know, he's old enough, I mean, he's gonna be a sophomore that, you know, he can not bother me if I tell him I'm gonna record or something, but I still feel a little weird recording while he's awake, but it's whatever, um, but yeah, over the weekends, it's harder to, uh, record when everybody's around. I try and do it at nighttime, but sometimes it just does not work out, but yeah, so I gotta catch up on all my subbies videos and stuff, but this is a, another just whisper over, um, the fun shark game, uh, hungry shark evolution, I think it's called, I can't remember, but someone requested that I make another one of these videos. that there were 
was a different setup, a different lineup for the buses. So anyway, he missed the bus. And unfortunately, we only have one vehicle, which my husband was using for work like an hour away. And I had no money to try and take an Uber to go get him. So even though school got out at one o'clock, he had to hang around at the school for like two more hours until my husband could go grab him. So needless to say, oh Jesus, I'm sorry if you just heard my husband swear. Oh my God. Um, anyway, needless to say, the next day, he ran uh, back and forth to make sure that he found the bus on time. And he did it, so. I was waiting with bated breath to make sure, you know, hoping that it wasn't going to be another long day for him. Because that would suck on the last day of school, having to stay there longer. What really sucked was that he had gotten decent enough grades so that he was exempt from all the exams. And the, la and the last three days of school were all exams. And all three days, he basically just played with his phone at school, but I couldn't just keep him home. I had to send him. So that made it even more annoying for him on Wednesday when he had to stay after school for two hours because he's sitting there thinking, um, I didn't even really need to be here and now I gotta be here longer, so... Yeah. Yeah, other than that, um, nothing really exciting. I just have not gotten a chance to go through all my comments and I didn't even get to make a video for like a day or so. I wasn't feeling too well all last week either, so. Nine months, and this is the second place that we've lived at, so... 
cats are meowing. Um, it's really strange to me to see friends of mine that are just a little bit older than me that have kids that are graduating high school. I can't even fathom it because I think a 
as a parent, you go through something weird because I swear to God, it, my son's personality completely changed when he was around 10 and a half. You know, up until that point, he still wanted to hang out with us a little bit. You know, and he was a really sweet and shy kid. And, you know, he was sensitive. And I know this is what's supposed to happen, but when he was almost 11, and that teenage switch just flipped on, it was really strange. I mean, he's not a bad kid. You know, he doesn't give any more attitude than any other typical teen. You know, he's just got kind of a monotone, like whatever laid back type of attitude. And, it, and his interests are all different now. And it's just so weird. You know, and there's obviously that, you know, I don't need you for things that I used to need you for. So you can go away type of typical teen attitude. It's just really weird. And, <clears throat> and it really reminds me of the episode of The Middle that I was watching a couple weeks ago. Where the mother found out that she needed to get a hysterectomy. She didn't know how to feel about it because even though she was done having kids, she wanted to be done having kids on her terms and not because she literally couldn't anymore. And her husband thought it might cheer her up if they babysat a baby. And at first it did the opposite and made her really upset. But then they were driving around to try and get the baby to stop crying. And they started going down memory lane, talking about how they used to drive their children around in the same neighborhood, in the same areas to calm them down. And they were smiling and laughing and stories about you know their kids and what what areas finally put them to sleep and then they realized that the baby they were watching had fallen asleep and I believe it was the mother that said oh not for long you know what's coming up here is that old pothole that old pothole that pops everybody awake again well, they braced themselves for the pothole. And it never happened. And then it hit the mom. She burst into tears. And then it hit me. That's the reason she burst into tears was because it had been so long since she had had her baby, her last kid that was in like junior high or about to be in high school, it had been so long since he had been a baby that they had finally fixed that pothole. It was no longer there. So the fact that it had been so long since her youngest was a baby just hit her and the fact that there was going to be no more babies it just hit her and it got me in the gut it's such a weird you know i'm about to be 39 in september it really and is. i was about to be 23 when i found out that i was pregnant for my son with my son and he wasn't planned. And it was a shock, but it was a good shock. 
wasn't one that we had planned for. We were the first in our group of friends to have a baby and get married. And yes, we did it in that order. So it, it kind of felt special at the time. Like we were, we were the cool ones, the first. And after he was born, since we hadn't planned for him, we kept putting off trying for a sibling. I kept thinking, you gotta lose weight first, you gotta lose weight first. And then I would lose weight, but we'd chicken out. And then I would gain weight back. And before I knew it, all of our friends all of a sudden were beating us like they were all now married and had three children to our one. It was just crazy. And then about six years ago, we started trying to have a baby on and off. And when it wouldn't happen in like three months, we'd give up for a while because it was really stressful. Then I'd try and lose weight again. Then the stress of it not happening when we'd try again, I'd put on weight. We'd stop, try, lose weight, try, gain it back. And that's basically where we still 